At that time, Mahamati, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva praising the Blessed One with verses such as these, made his own name known to the Blessed One. I am Mahamati, Blessed One, and am well versed in the Mahayana. I wish to ask 108 questions of thee who art most eloquent. Hearing his words, the Buddha, the best knower of the world, looking over the whole assembly, spoke to the son of the Sugata thus, Ask me, son of the victorious, Mahamate. You ask, and I will instruct you in self-realization. At that moment, Mahamate, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva, who was given by the Blessed One the opportunity to speak, prostrated himself at the feet of the Blessed One and asked, How can one be cleansed of false intellection? Whence does it arise? How can one perceive errors? Whence do they arise? Whence come lands, transformations, appearances, and philosophers? Wherefore is the state of imagelessness and gradations, and whence are the sons of the victorious? Where is the way of emancipation? Who is in bondage? By what is he redeemed? What is the mental state of those who practice the dhyanas? Whence is the triple vehicle? What is that which is born of causation? What is effect? What is cause, or that which works? Whence the doctrine of duality? Whence does it arise? Wherefore is the tranquilizing exercise of formlessness, and that of complete extinction? Wherefore the extinction of thoughts, and how is one awakened from it? How does action arise? Whence is the behavior of those who hold the body? Whence this visible world? Whence the conditions? Whence the entrance upon the stages? Who is it that breaks through this triple existence? What is the abode? What is the body? Where does that which is abiding arise? Whence comes the son of the Buddha? Who attains the psychic faculties, the self-masteries, the samadhis? How is the mind tranquilized? Pray tell me, O bull-like victor. What is the alaya, and whence the manavichnana? How does the visible world rise? How does it cease from being visible? Whence are families and no families? What is meant by mind only? The setting up of marks, and whence the doctrine of egolessness? Why is there no being? What kind of teaching is in accordance with popular thinking? How can one cease cherishing eternalism and nihilism? How is it that you do not differ from the philosophers as regards appearance? Tell me, whence is the rise of the Nyaya school, its future? What is meant by emptiness? What do you understand by momentary destruction? Whence is the womb, and whence is the stability of the world? Why is the world like a vision and a dream? How does it resemble the city of the Gandharvas? Why is it to be regarded as like a mirage, or like the moon reflected in water? Pray, tell me. What are the elements of enlightenment? Whence are the constituents of enlightenment? Wherefore is a revolution, and the disturbance of a kingdom, and how does the realistic view of existence take its rise? What is meant by the world being above birth and death, or being like the flower in the air? How do you understand it? Why do you regard it as being beyond words? How is it not subject to discrimination? How is it like the sky? Of how many sorts is suchness? How manifold is the mind? How many paramitas are there? Whence is the gradation of the stages? What is the state of imagelessness? Wherefore is the twofold egolessness? How is one cleansed of the hindrance of knowledge? 
of how many kinds is knowledge o leader how many moral precepts are there and forms of being whence are the families born of gold and jewel and pearl of whom is speech born whence is the differentiation of beings whence are the sciences offices arts and by whom are they made manifest of how many sorts are gathas what is prose what is metre of how many sorts is reasoning and exegesis? how many varieties of food and drink are there whence does sexual desire originate whence are there kings sovereigns and provincial rulers how does a king protect his dominion of how many groups are heavenly beings whence are the earth stars constellations the moon and the sun how many kinds of emancipation are there of the yogans how many kinds of discipleship and how about the masters how many kinds of buddhahood are there and how many of the jitaka tales how numerous are the evil ones how numerous are the heretics what is meant by the doctrine that there is nothing but thought construction pray tell me thou most eloquent one whence are the clouds in the sky the wind what is meant by recollection by wisdom whence are trees and vines pray tell me lord of the triple world how do horses elephants and deer get caught wherefore are there fools and despicable people pray tell me thou charioteer of the mind wherefore are the six seasons mentioned what is meant by the ichantika or one who is without buddha nature pray tell me whence is the birth of a man of a woman of a hermaphrodite how does one retrograde in the yoga exercises how does one make progress in them how many exercises are there and how are men kept abiding in them pray tell me beings are born in the various paths of existence what are their specific marks and forms how is abundance of wealth acquired pray tell me thou who art like the sky whence the sakya family and the one born of ikshvaku whence is the rishi long penance what is taught by him how is it that thou art thus apparent everywhere in every land surrounded by such bodhisattvas of such various names and forms why is meat not to be eaten why is it forbidden whence was the carnivorous race born who eats meat why are the lands shaped like the moon the sun the sumeru the lotus the swatika and the lion pray tell me wherefore are the lands shaped like a capsized and upturned net of indra which is composed of all sorts of jewels pray tell me why wherefore are the lands shaped in the form of a lute or a drum like various flowers and fruits like the sun and the moon which are so stainless pray tell me whence are the buddhas of transformation whence are the buddhas of maturity or recompense whence are the buddhas who are endowed with transcendental knowledge of suchness pray tell me why does not one attain enlightenment in the world of desire pray tell me what is the meaning of your being enlightened in the akanistha by shaking off all the passions after my passing who will be the upholder of the discipline or doctrine how long should the teacher abide how long should the teaching continue how many sorts of established truths are there and how many of philosophical views whence is morality and what constitutes the being of a bhikshu pray tell me what is meant by a state of revulsion or turning back whence is a state of imagelessness which is realized by the pratyeka buddhas bodhisattvas and shravakas by whom are the psychic powers of this world attained what are the super worldly ones by what means does the mind enter upon the seven stages pray 
tell me. How many kinds of brotherhood are there, and how does a dissension take place in a brotherhood? Whence are medical treatises for beings? Pray, tell me. You say that you are among the Buddhas, Kasyapa, Krachuchanda, and Kanakamuni. Tell me wherefore so, O great Muni. Whence is the doctrine that there is no ego soul in beings? Whence is the doctrine of eternity and of annihilation? Wherefore do you not everywhere announce the doctrine of mind only as the truth? What is meant by the forest of men and women, and by the forest of Karitaki and Amali? Whence are the mountains Kailasa, Chakravata, and Vajrasamhana? Among these, whence are the mountains decorated with various sorts of jewels, and filled with Rishis and Gandharvas? Pray, tell me. Hearing this, which constitutes the wonderful doctrines of the Mahayana, and also the most excellent heart of the Buddhas, the great hero, the Buddha, the one most excelled in the knowledge of the world, spoke thus. Well done, well done, O Mahaprajna Mahamati. Listen well, and I will tell you in order regarding your questions. Birth, no birth, nirvana, emptiness, transmigration, having no self-nature, Buddhas, sons of the Paramitas, the Shravakas, Bodhisattvas, the philosophers, those who are capable of formless deeds, the Meru, oceans, mountains, islands, lands, the earth, the stars, the sun, the moon, the philosophers, the Asura, emancipations, the self-masteries, the psychic faculties, the dhyanas, the samadhis, the extinctions, the supernatural powers, the elements of enlightenment, and the paths, dhyanas, the unmeasurables, the aggregates or skandhas, and the comings and goings, samapatis, the extinctions, the stirrings of mind, explanations in words, the sita, manas, and vijnanas, egolessness, the five dharmas, self-nature, the discriminating, the discriminated, the visible world, dualism, whence are they? Various forms of vehicles, families, those born of gold, jewels and pearls, the Ichantika, the original elements, the wandering about, one Buddhahood, knowledge, the known, the marching, the attainment, and the existence and non-existence of beings. How are horses, elephants, deer caught? Pray tell me how. What is a proposition, a teaching established by the conjunction of reason and illustration? Whence is cause and effect, various errors, and also reason? Why the statement that there is nothing but mind, that there is no objective world, that there is no ascending of the stages. Whence is the state of imagelessness and revulsion, which is a hundredfold? You tell me. Likewise about medical treatises, arts, crafts, sciences, and teachings. And also, what are the measurements of the mountains, Sumeru, and the earth? What are the measurements of the ocean, moon, and sun? Tell me. How many particles of dust are there in the body of a being? How many of the coarser ones, of the finer ones, and of the middle ones? How many particles of dust in every land? How many in every danva? In measuring distance, how much is a hasta, a danu, a krosa, a yojana, a half yojana? How many of rabbit hairs, of window dust, louse eggs, or ram hairs, of barley? How many grains of barley in a prastha? How many grains of barley in a half prastha? Likewise, how many in a drona, a karya, a laksha, a koti, a vimanana? How many atoms are there in a mustard seed? How many mustard seeds are there in a rakshika? How many in a bean, in a dharana, in a mashaka? 
How many Dharanas are there in a Karsha? How many Karshas in a Pala? And how many Palas are there in Mount Sumeru, which is a huge accumulation of masses? You should ask me thus, O son. Why do you ask me otherwise? How many atoms are there in the body of a Pratyeka Buddha, of a Shravaka, of a Buddha, and of a Bodhisattva? Why do you not ask me in this wise? How many atoms are there at the top of a flame? How many atoms are there in the wind? How many in each sense organ? How many in a pore of the skin, in the eyebrows? Whence are these men of immense wealth, kings, great sovereigns? How is the kingdom taken care of by them, and how about their emancipation? Tell whence is prose and meter. Why is sexual desire universally cherished? Whence the variety of foods and drinks? Whence the man-woman forest? Wherefore are the mountains of Vajrasamhana? Tell me whence, wherefore. Are they like a vision, a dream, and a fata morgana? Whence is the arising of clouds? And whence do the seasons arise? Whence is the nature of taste? Whence is woman, man, and hermaphrodite? Whence are the adornments and the bodhisattvas? Ask me, O oh my son. Whence are the divine mountains embellished by the rishis and gandharvas? Whence is the way of emancipation? Who is in bondage? By whom is he delivered? What is the state of one who practices tranquilization? What is transformation, and who are those philosophers? What is meant by non-existence, existence, and no effect? Whence arises the visible world? How can one be cleansed of false intellection? When does false intellection arise? Whence arises action, and whence its departure? Tell me, how does the extinction of thought take place, and what is meant by a samadhi? Who is the one who breaks through the triple world? What is the position? What is the body? Wherefore the doctrine that beings have no ego soul? What is meant by a teaching in accordance with the world? Do you ask me about the marks? Do you ask me about egolessness? Do you ask me about the womb? About the Nayaya philosophers, O son of the victor? How about eternalism and nihilism? How is the mind tranquilized? Again, how about speech, knowledge, morality? family, O oh son of the victor. What is meant by reasoning and illustrating, by master and disciple, by manifoldness of beings, food and drink, sky, intelligence, evil ones, and the statement that there is nothing but the thought constructed? What do you ask me concerning trees and vines, O oh son of the victor? What about diversity of lands, and about long penance the rishi? What is your family? Who is your master? You tell me, O oh son of the victor, how is it that in the yoga you do not attain enlightenment in the world of desire, but that in the akanista there is realization? What do you ask me about reasoning? What about the psychic faculties belonging to this world, and about the nature of a bhikshu? Do you ask me about Buddhas of transformation? Buddhas of maturity or recompense, about Buddhas of the knowledge of suchness, and whence is the Bodhisattva? You ask me, O son of the victor, about the lands that are devoid of light, resembling a lute, a drum, and a flower, and about the mind abiding in the seven stages. You ask me such and many other questions which are in accordance with the marks of truth and free from erroneous views.